vibrate higher. What's happening now is meant to be. I don't really celebrate the wins. I don't sulk over the negative. I just keep it moving. Everyone just wants to chat and comment, crack jokes. Effort that's put into doubt or hate, when it's that extreme, it's the same thing as love, man. They're confused, it's not me. I hate sitting idle, you know, like being on tour is great, but I've been asking him, like, when's the studio bus coming? Like, I'm ready, like, I'm ready to keep going. You know, I was, I mean, I really feel like I only caught, I really only caught the, the real momentum, like in the last three weeks of making nothing was the same. Cause you know, I made the language worst behavior too much and, and 305 in my city all in the last three weeks. You know, I'm 24 years old. I got, I got brothers though that it's like, if I if I choose to go after this and go like kick it with a with a woman or go out for drinks, I know I'm, I'm I'm potentially slipping because I have brothers like Ross and like Wayne that are working like nonstop. So I think we all just push each other harder. Like, but for me being like a you know being a kid. From, from Canada coming into this whole thing, being able to observe, like, like literally, like, my heroes do do this shit. It's like, I, I, I mean, all I want to do is work. I just want to make this album as incredible as I can. And, and yeah, that's, that's the best way I could put it, man. Like, I really see the hardest working people to ever do this. I see them. We speak, we sit and have moments and talk and we're in the same session so I really sit back and just digest it all and try and apply it to my own craft. Do you feel like you are successful? Yes, I do. I always want more. I think less than the dollar value, it's just more about um, the idea of growth and business, business mindset to, you know, 25 million um, at the time seemed crazy to me, but when you start becoming a headlining touring act and you know brands want to get involved with you and you can go do private events and whatnot it's you know you're capable of making it and now i want to i want to invent something i want to i want to start a i want to start a company i want to do something that has maybe nothing to do with music well, why do you care so much about success have you figured that out i'm just addicted to it I just, why um i think that i've sacrificed so much for it already and dedicated so much of my time that um, I have to push it as far as I possibly can. I, I like to say I just want to win. Last night I was in the studio till like 6 a.m. and then I slept till 12 and then came here and sound checked and didn't go back to sleep again. And just, so it, it, yeah. it definitely gets exhausting. I think it's more, um, it's more just trying to stay together up here, you know, not, not let anything go too astray while you're on that stage. Um, and you know, I mean, I'll get back to LA at midnight and then I gotta be up at 9 a.m. for Grammy rehearsals. So it doesn't really stop, right. but it's a commitment you make. I'm not worried about these other rappers. I'm not competing with those guys. I already know their hand, I know their move. I study everything. I'm worried about the kid that's sitting in his house that wants to be better than me and all those guys. That's who I'm competing with now. That's how I try to keep pushing this forward. Just to let that kid know that I'm not done yet. Y'all ready to do this tonight or what, man? Straight up. I go by the name of Drizzy Drake. 